Hey what's up guys Droll here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this really beautiful portrait using a brush which we will create using text so let's get started as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop and I'm just gonna double click on the background and hit OK. Now if you want to open any image you can go to file and open as many images as you want. Now uh, first of all we need to create that uh, custom brush that you can see here we created with help of the text. So I'm gonna create a new blank layer and I will fill in the white color in that. Now I'm gonna select my type tool and I'm gonna type in so you can type any word you want so I'm gonna type Photoshop and let's make it black so you can see it so here's that word and I'm gonna press ctrl T and I'm gonna make it bigger and hit enter and now you have to go to edit and define brush preset and I'm gonna name it let's say toot brush and this is 689 so let's hit ok now whenever you are creating a brush you have to make sure that your background is solid white and your subject is totally black uh, so that you can create brush without any problems otherwise it can create some issues so uh, always take care of that now if you select your brush and let's go here in the brush options you can see that brush we just created 6 and 9 now uh, delete this one and let's create another brush so I'm gonna type in this time let's say love that's great and now I'm gonna press ctrl T and let's make it bigger like that and hit enter now go to edit and again define brush preset and I'm gonna name it to brush 2 and let's say ok so let's see and uh, we have that brush here yes it is already ready you can create as many brushes you want for different type of varieties and that will be fun so right now we do not need this layers and delete this one now create a new layer under this layer so i'm gonna put it here and then fill in the black color in that so as you can see here in my thumbnail and we have this black color here and shut this model layer for now and i'm gonna name it model so we can be less confused and now create a new blank layer on top of your black layer and let's name it text brush and let's create another new layer and let's name it normal brush now select both of this layer using your control key and then press control G so it will put it into a group and uh, now let's open the group and in the text uh, let's select our photoshop brush that we just created it's here and now if you first paint with it well, it doesn't look that great and it's kind of weird so whenever you have selected a brush you have this option here this little icon and when you click on that it opens your brush preset now first of all go to brush tip shape and i'm going to increase the spacing to let's say 200 uh, percent around 200 percent it doesn't have to be that accurate so let's go to 224 and I'm gonna turn on shape dynamics and the shape dynamics size jitter is at 100% and make sure that angle jitter is 0% otherwise it will start rotating your text and we do not need that for now now let's go to scattering and the more uh, the more number you put in scattering the more there will be more spacing in your words so I'm gonna keep the spa uh, scattering to maybe 200% to yes that gr looks great and the more the count the more words you will have and more thicker the effect will be so for now I'm just gonna keep it to maybe 2% and that looks fine and now the transfer the last one and you also have to make sure that whenever you're using this brush panel you have to click on this layer let's say if I just click on this brush pose uh, I won't see any difference in options you have to click on this br brush pose so you can see the options so I'm going to click on this transfer and my opacity jitter is 100% so it, let's decrease it to show you what it looks like. So when you increase the opacity it uh, creates uh, like variety in opacity and when you increase the flow it will have difference or different type of variety in flow just the same way we have here opacity and flow but in brush department. So that looks great and now when I paint with my brush as you can see it creates really funky effect like this. Now if you right click you won't uh, see any hardness option so yeah that's a minus point you cannot play with the hardness on custom brushes but we can still manage the size so that looks great. Now I'm gonna make it smaller like this uh, so uh, now start painting randomly just like this and you can also use your big bracket key uh, right uh, 
in the side of your enter key and start painting with it for the variety of size so I'm just gonna paint it here like that and keep painting it you have to create a really good amount of brush since we are since we are going to use uh, this as a clipping mask so make sure you have put a lot of words like this and also let's make it smaller for the different type of varieties like this fill in as much as area as you can now turn on your model layer right click and select create clipping mask so it will create a clipping mask according to this group and whatever we put in this uh, into this group uh, it will create a mask for this layer and now I'm gonna put her a little bit on the right side holding my shift key so that looks even better now let's go back to your text brush and select your brush tool again and I'm gonna just start painting on her face like this now we have to make sure that in the center where her face is you need to put a lot of uh, like brushing so that we can see the face properly and it, we can recognize the person because that's the point and on the edges it is more like scattered and more lighter so the effect is even better so i'm just gonna keep painting now i'm gonna make my brush even smaller and put it on this random parts now if you look at here we have this transition because of the image the image ends here if i unclip the layer you can see the image is ending here so let's clip it back and apply a layer mask on the image and uh, select any type of let's say normal brush and before that uh, let's save the preset first otherwise if you change the brush all the settings will be like set to default and you will have to do all the hard work so go to your options here click here and select new tool preset and let's name it let's say tutorial uh, preset so let's keep it that and let's name the photoshop since we have that brush and hit ok now let's go back and select uh, regular round brush and uh, I'm gonna paint with black color on this area let's keep it black and start painting here so we have this transition of uh, image to the text so if I unclip the layer you can see we have just simply erased this part from here and let's clip it here so there is a really good transaction and you can also paint it back since it's a brush so you can uh, like get back the detail anytime you want now let's move on to this normal brush so as you guys know that we are we painted with text and we have that as a clipping mask so we can do that for normal brush too so I'm just gonna paint on her face like that with normal brush uh, keep it really big and keep the opacity maybe 50% just like that and if it gets kind of confusing or you are stuck somewhere ask me in the comments I will help you out uh, not everybody is pro so I can understand that and keep painting it until her face looks even better and you can see her properly so only in few parts so even if we zoom in you can see there's still that text transaction going and it looks even better and we can recognize the subject better uh, let's go to Photoshop select this brush or let's use love this time so let's go here and I'm gonna add the shape dynamics a scattering and let's name it or let's also transfer so in the scattering let's keep it that way and in the shape dynamics everything is fine and let's uh, decrease the count in scattering okay that looks fine and I'm gonna scatter it even more and now go to transfer and that looks great so that is fine and I'm gonna create a new layer called let's say low text brush so you can put anything in this group and it will work as a clipping mask so that is really cool and let's close it and I'm gonna paint it here so as you can see it's way 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 big so I'm gonna make it smaller and start painting just like that and you can use it as many as with as many style you want so let's go back and increase the scattering even more uh, so let's keep it like that so that looks great and I'm gonna make it even smaller and now it work it works really nice so you can use it uh, with as many fonts you want and this way you can create anything and let's put it even more letters so we can say it properly so let's put it here so this way you can create uh, any type of cool looking portrait and now once you think that you have enough text and your transition is really good looking uh, create a new layer and I'm gonna apply a gradient map so we have really cool colors 
now it is not necessary for the effect but it was working really nice with the image so i just kind of thought to use it so now hit ok and put it on screen blend mode and then i'm gonna decrease the opacity a little so um, this looks really really great and i hope you guys learned something and if you have any kind of question regarding to this tutorial or photoshop feel free to drop them in the comments and if you actually learned something from this tutorial hit that like button so that i can know and you can also subscribe to my channel so that you can have future updates of every video i upload also check out this other tutorials by tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop